Hey Jeez, welcome back to my the, the Tommy Galaxy reactions. We're gonna be watching episode five today. Yeah, episode five. And uh, last time, last time we got Hijuki Hikuji Hijuki. I don't know. I forgot his name. Hikuji Focus, the the god. It was definitely not a god, but I still want to call him a god because that's literally the introduction we got of him. Like, by the way, I'm a god, and I'm gonna pair you up with this guy, with this girl. Sorry, I I don't think you're gay. Sorry about that. But yeah, or Ozu might take her. So that's the thing that happened, and then um, instead of joining any regular circle like you know the tennis boo, the freaking cycling club, you know, we joined the cult. <laughs> we joined the cult with its leader being Higuchi, and it was great because uh, and then he was looking for like the perfect scrub. I I that was a very weird episode to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm just gonna write the Tommy Galaxy down and then uh, we can start episode 5. Okay, that's it. We're gonna do this. There's gonna be two versions of this reaction video a picture and picture version, which you can find in the description below, and a Chinese version, which you're watching right now. If you want to seek up your immediate third time version, you can do that with a 5 cent countdown. It's gonna count down for 5. Makes sense what they do and do is the same thing. My video starts playing on my screen. I keep burping. At least I, it's not acid reflux burps. <laughs> like, it's just regular burps right now. I, I'm just gassy, not really acidic. <laughs> so. Yeah, okay, let's go here. Okay, timer will go... Here! I already fixed the subtitles, okay, okay. That's a car. What are they doing? Excuse me. <laughs> also, the fact that it's really dark right now. What are you wearing, Ozu? That is you. What? <laughs> are they looking for them? What the fuck? Tehe, <laughs> tehe. At least you're actually willing to admit that. Okay, if you're watching on a baby discussions on the back over on YouTube, check those out if you can. Leave a like on the description and take a to patience to get this video. So we're going to advance if you want early access to the video. Link below. Yeah. Three dollars a month, so cheap. Recording's fine. Give me no my, no my. It was a motte taureru. Hey, hey. Doni. It's such a fun opening. It's just crazy. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. Softball. Okay. Softball, that's cool. Oh.
But <laughs> some wishful thinking right there. Wow. Aren't you like extremely unathletic? Wow. <laughs> what happened? Okay. Oh, it. Wow. Wow. I was right. He is extremely unathletic. Is unathletic a word? That sounds good. <laughs> Our beast. That's interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Everyone's like, what the fuck? We're eating healthy here! Normal. <laughs> uh. I'm gonna face like a yokai. Eh, that's innocent. Okay. Wow. Ah! Is that Akashi? No. No. I don't think I'm gonna like this club. I don't like small talk like that. I'm okay with small talk, just this kind specifically is weird to me. Hey, Neko Ramen. Yeah. What? What? <laughs> the mouth movements are so weird. Is that salt?
Hmm. Wow. That's uh nice. Not really. Wow. Yeah, eat your ramen, King. You don't need all those uh, health supplements. We actually bought them. Yes, I know what Dora Jelly is. Wow, at least you have... Uh-huh. Oh, it's one of those things. Good point. <laughs> I, I kind of agree with that. Wow, it's the mascot. World order. <laughs> or it's just a shady Or it's just a shady ass business. That is not true. NASA does not <laughs> No shit. <laughs> He's gonna explode! Oh no! Oh no! Uh. What was that? Hey, the fortune teller lady! Wow, just pulled you in. Yep, it's getting more and more abridged. Play dancing it, really. Now that's my keepsake for uh, understanding which episode it is. Five thousand minutes is episode five. <laughs> Why did you need to be? Oh, okay. Yeah, less than one percent. <laughs> okay. This guy's a pig. Oh, he's just fat. Sorry. I don't trust this guy, though. <laughs> this is a cult. <laughs> this is another cult. 
Each animal inside. Good luck with that. Yeah, sure. I was getting the vibes already that it's cultish, but not to this extent. Oh, I sure. If I must, I'm afraid if I don't clap, something bad will happen. <laughs> Look at his face. Holy shit! It's essentialism. Yay! Yay! Come, buddy, my show. I'm scared if I don't do this, uh, something bad will happen. Is it gonna be the girl? Oh. How were you able to create that with your jeans? How were you able to create that with your jeans, dude? <laughs> Probably you just got it from mom, all, all of it. Okay. Uh, uh. Ah. <laughs> Same! I already have the title for this episode. It's Ozu, isn't it? Please tell me it's Ozu. Ozu, do something for us right now. These people are crazy. I mean, not crazy, they're misguided. <laughs> Nice. Thank you, Ozu. It's the first time I'm grateful that Ozu is around. <laughs> and we're back here. Immediate rest done. <laughs> they have that much power, huh? Hey, Neko, Neko Ramen guy. Worldly flavor. Hmm. 
Nice, where are they? Oh, nice. Wow. Ozu. Yeah. <laughs> that's it, that's all we get? <laughs> Yeah, my little jelly. Hey! Akashi! You don't need any other girl, you have Akashi! Look at her! She's glorious! She's so beautiful! Wow. Sure. Excuse me? Can't read what that says. Where are you hiding these things? <laughs> oh yeah, she doesn't like mods. What? What? That's a cool bit of animation. <laughs> Reset. Reset. Aight. Let's talk about this episode. First of all, I'm gonna check the. Uh, yep, nothing at the end. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. So we start with some some cold open immediate rest. Let's do it. Yes, fun. I'm I'm pretty sure I'm saying immediate rest properly, right? I don't know how to spell it. <laughs> but, yeah. Ozu and uh, our boy is being are being chased again because of course they are. And then we start the opening, which is amazing, as always. I freaking love the opening. This is so interesting to me. This is probably my favorite episode so far, to be honest. This. Hmm. First of all, our boy isn't sure compared to the other ones where he was like, I know exactly what club I'm gonna join. This time he wasn't sure and he saw this club, the softball club, and he was like, it looks like these people just don't really play softball. No, not that they don't play it, but they more so don't take it seriously. And there's a deeper, deeper hidden agenda within them. And that hidden agenda to him at this point was simply to make it so that they 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 mingle they have friends and it's great and they just kind of hang out kind of like the kind of like the telepathy club from mob psycho except not as useless <laughs> or not as uh, horrifying you know <laughs> whichever one fits but um <sighs> this one is kind of horrifying but uh you know i like that he always first of all they're not just gonna go around half naked around you, so we kind of use a similar art style and stuff like this. When uh, what's his name, Jung Gurinawa, whatever his name was, <laughs> the film student, film club guy, uh, he decided to have a bunch of girls half naked and check their boobs. <sighs> I remember that, and it's very similar to that. He can't throw a proper pitch. Like, I am not athletic at all, but I was able to throw his pitches, like, properly. Like, not well, but, like, decent enough. <laughs> and I'm not athletic at all. 
And now, I used to be a lot thinner, now I'm just fat. I, I don't even have that much muscle, muscle mass. I'm just, it's just bones and fat. <laughs> but I can still fit, throw a pitch properly, shut up. So, I'm one-upping this guy, so I'm better than this guy. I like the analogy with beasts. It's really interesting to me. Like the idea that everyone just kind of follows the, the, the leadership, the monarchy basically, the queen. And then um, they create more members and then they do the work, they sell the stuff and then they because of it they make more. So yeah, that, that's a really neat uh, analogy that they have. Also the idea of royal jelly being sold is also on the nose. This. At first, I was like, okay, this place is just a place that is for students that don't want that much commitment for a club to join the club. And then later, I was like, okay, so this place is more like, not uh, like, uh, <laughs> you know, those, not necessarily pyramid scheme, but a lot of them are also pyramid schemes at the same time. But those uh, companies that sell health products and then um, a lot, most, if not all of their health products end with no approved therapeutic claims because you know there's literally no there, no <laughs> no clinical tr trials that were done to them but they still sell them because oh my grandfather actually got rid of his cancer when he started drinking this royal jelly or that kind of stuff basically i've seen so many of those and well taking like like healthy food and living a healthy life is very helpful and it will cure a bunch of diseases if done right not necessarily you know not all the time but you know it's still best to just you know take take the proper route <laughs> just trust science on this one like sometimes sometimes in certain places not everywhere because i know for a fact that where i live um at the very least where i live specifically there's not that many um people that would take a, there's no reason for doctors to take advantage of selling a bunch more medicine because uh they don't have the same system in other countries where the more medicine they sell the more money they make we don't have that system so yeah <laughs> so i trust the doctors here a bit more <laughs> yeah but then again i do trust doctors a bit more than in in any place like even if there is that system like for the most part, like you can still get like uh, second opinions and everything if you feel like it. So it makes sense that you can still trust doctors. And if you can't trust the one doctor that you're with, then you can just go look for another one. There's many doctors out there, <laughs> except there's not as many that are gonna come because be because kids nowadays they all want to be TikTokers. Sorry, that was the boomer in me talking. I'm not even thirty. <laughs> I'm twenty-five. I'm a millennial. For fuck's sake. <laughs> Why did I start saying that? I don't even mean it. I don't even think that way. Sorry. And then, that's the second stage. I went off on a tangent. But that's the second stage. And the third stage is full-on cult mode. Where they were like, Now! For... <laughs> on 2012, because of the Mayan calendar. The end of the Mayan calendar. The world will end. And we shall find salvation through this modern Noah's Ark. We shall find each form of animal that, you know... You know, when I was still going to church, <laughs> someone told me that, um, like a Christian, specifically, a Christian told me that um, they think that uh, Noah's Ark is entirely metaphorical. And I was like, oh, if you were to take that as a metaphorical thing and you were to take that, take that sort of metaphorical thing as like an analogy for other things, that actually makes so much more sense. <laughs> Case, case in point, I am not religious, but uh, I, I, I do believe in a higher power, so I, I am slightly spiritual, but not, not the crystals, crystal buying spiritual, more like the, I can still pray, but I don't believe in, I don't go to church kind of spiritual. That's the kind of spiritual I am. <laughs> I don't, but the reason why I'm bringing this up is because there's so many people that think they're just being spiritual, but at the same time, they, by, by being spiritual, they're like, severing their ties to the the bonds the ties to uh you know stuff like religion and all that and the rules and everything but at the same time they still believe that this one guy that is leading them is the one true prophet that they should listen to and they do these rituals and everything 
and they they're kind of misguided because of it and that's kind of the reason why when i started saying that oh these people are crazy i kind of took a step back and said no they're just misguided it's because i know people like that i know people that are misguided when it comes to uh seeking spiritual help seeking spiritual solace solace yeah i can say that word <laughs> seeking spiritual guidance that's the right word but um the the main thing that is scary about seeking spiritual guidance is there's going to be people that are going to try to take advantage of you and if you're not if you're not, not necessarily smart enough but you're not you know keen enough you'd be tricked and i get the feeling that's what this episode is trying to say uh with the whole cult of bees and everything <sighs> okay okay that was a fun little tangent i went on that was really cool i, I just wanted to get it out of my system let's talk about this kind of conversation because this is freaking me out <laughs> Because again, I know people like this that will only say positive things, and then later on they would just do the purge and just say re- negative things. But you know, let's start with the positive things. And uh, the thing about you, you know, it's always nice to be nice. It's always nice to be nice when it comes to a conversation. But when you're trying to actually connect with people, you have to show parts of yourself that. You are not willing to show everyone, and when whenever these people speak, it's all, it's almost as if they're talking out of a script, where this is the right thing to say at this moment, and therefore that's the thing I'm going to say, and so that's what they say. And whenever our boy starts talking about like things that these people probably feel as well or think, they just kind of smile at him, and go, okay, don't ruin the mood. Which, to a certain extent, I kind of agree with. Like, if the mood is like this, you really shouldn't just go inside there and say, "Fuck your ideas." You should just politely ask maybe a question about this. No, <laughs> but no, our boy is just like, you know, you know. I know that eating healthy is good and all, but fuck it. I like me my ramen, <laughs> my ramen. <laughs> Which I fully agree with, and I get the feeling that some of these people actually agree. Oh, I just realized they all have the the B thing, the antennae, antennae, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's just the way they interact is so forced and scripted that it feels weird. Yeah, and then he realizes that the one person that he can be with in this in this in this hell on earth is Ozu. <laughs> I don't blame him this time. I honestly don't. Okay. You know, even though a lot of the time, when people start fucking up and start doing, start following things that they really shouldn't follow, it's because of themselves. Like, it's because of something that they lack or is, are looking for. So, it's really interesting that this is, they decide to make it so that this horny ass boy, <laughs> this horny ass boy's reason for wanting to be part of the higher ups uh, and join the secret meetings and everything is by, is because of a girl. Which to a certain extent makes sense. Like, hmm, I get it. Okay. I can see that. I can see that, but. I don't know. I th- I think they missed an opportunity to make it more relatable. <laughs> but again, it's okay. It, I can see this happening in real life as well. Also, is this the first time we've ever mentioned that they use actual? There's, there's a possibility that they use actual cast to make the broth. That's kind of gross. Also, this image is really cute and kind of disturbing once you think about what is being said at this very moment. What is he taking? Is that salt and pepper? Like. There should be enough salt in ramen. It's ramen for fuck's sake. I do like the perspective shots whenever we whenever we start slurping down on ramen. Um, and then we transition to a different thing. That's really cool. Uh, so we learned about the whole thing where if you buy their, their products, you, you can become a higher ranking member. Which is again a thing in the a thing in the, the companies that sell a bunch of Health products, that is also a thing. Pretty much. <sighs> I like that Ozu's like, well, 
if you're gonna chase after the girl, I'm I'm gonna be supportive of you. Sure, do what you want. <laughs> but at the same time, also probably already knows that he's definitely gonna do it, even though he says that he won't. Comparing the price with other company seems about right. Royal jelly is pretty healthy. But if you just keep eating it... <laughs> like, it's pretty healthy, like, I guess it's, it's, it's like a natural antibiotic if I'm not mistaken. Or is that honey? I think both are natural antibiotics. Because, uh, is that honey or royal jelly? that doesn't expire or turn bad. I don't know which one. Or maybe it's both and I'm just messing everything up. Is royal jelly different from honey? I'm pretty sure it's different. I just said earlier to know what royal jelly is but I completely now going on this tangent. Okay, and then he starts freaking out because people are not taking their uh, candy. I do like the fact that he was taken by this lady. Also, she has a shadow hand. Uh, Dark Shadow, is that you? 5,000 yen. <laughs> Let me just repeat everything except uh, it's a lot more bridge as, as he said. I was wondering why they were wearing... Uh, uh, what's the word? What's the word going for? What's the word going for? Eye covers. Eye covers. Eye patch. No, that's not eye patch. Uh, blindfolds! I can speak English. <laughs> but uh, I was wondering if they were wearing blindfolds but apparently it's like a very secret place that they shouldn't know where they're going so... Once they're there, they can see where they are, so that makes sense. And this is the part where it goes full on cult mode because it's not just like a company that is selling products. There are I like the the mention of if you if you visit our website and it's taken down, don't worry, that's just people being bitches. <laughs> but I was like, maybe your website is not legitimate enough. Speaking of websites going down, yesterday, I don't know, let's start with a few months ago. I was using, I decided to use Breach as a website to upload my PAP on and then Bre Bre Breach after a month of using it was taken down and now I started using Pixel Drain and right now I can't open Pixel Drain, I don't know why. I started using Pixel Drain starting yesterday and today I can't open it at all. I don't know why. <laughs> I can't even open it on like other files of other people so I tried checking out other people's videos with Pixel Drain links. <sighs> Anyways, <laughs> that's, that's beside the point. They're not sell they're not being legitimate. They're just being, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. So they're handmade, I guess. Okay, sure. I thought this guy's head was literally a pig. No, he's just this is just fat. I'm sorry about that. Sorry to all the fat people out there. <laughs> I thought it was an actual pig. Look at the shape of his ears, his nose. He literally looks like a pig. I'm sorry. And Noah's Ark is there. Yay. And we're gonna ascend. This is very unhealthy. <laughs> I was gonna say that right now. If you need to constantly for a daily basis, think about what you need to think of, to think about what you need to say and never actually say what you think uh, deep down and at some point just kind of release it all at once. That is not healthy at all. That is, that is just repression and when you release it, you're not even actually trying to, uh, you're not even trying to, what's the word I'm looking for? What's the word I'm looking for? You're not actually trying to handle it. You're not actually trying to fight it. What you're doing is you're just releasing anger, you're releasing frustration, which of course at that very moment, you would feel like, ah, oh, it's cathartic, ah, oh, I feel like, I feel all better now that I've released all that, but no, you're not fixing the root of the issue. You still feel the same way that you felt once you started saying these things out loud, but tomorrow, again, you're gonna start acting like nothing happened. You're not being healthy, so this is bullshit. But then again, it's a call, what, am, what did I expect? <laughs> I'm talking loudly, a lot more loudly, and my mic slightly, is slightly closer to me right now because I put it there. I don't know why. I just decided to, so sorry. <laughs> I don't know why the uh, this bit of animation is really cool. No, not that. Where's the? Where is it? 
Not that. Where is it? Where is it? I think it's 2050. Oh, and then they start running away from them, and it's great. 20. And then here's a fan. This helped the bees because. Uh, <laughs> please help the bees because uh, there'll be more moths if there's less bees. Oh, over here, over here, over here. Uh, where is it? This bit! Woo! Very fun action lines. Action y stuff. And then he's just throwing a box. It's so fun. Okay. I think we're done. Let me check let me check the remaining bits of this. I wasted my two years and now I'm never gonna get it back except for the next episode where everything's gonna reset again. I wonder if we're gonna stop the episodic stuff at some point and we're just gonna Maybe at episode 11, I think this is 11 episodes. Yeah, maybe at episode 11, uh, there was like... <laughs> and the next day, and then he just continues on this life. And doesn't reset anymore, that'd be fun. Okay, I think we're done. Uh, yeah. <sighs> that was a good episode. That's probably my favorite episode so far. And... Of course, it's the episode with the cult in it. <laughs> I remember... My favorite Cowboy Bebop episode, because I'm gonna say this again, I said this earlier when I was watching uh, Death Parade, but uh, I'm not a big fan of episodic shows. Like, I don't think they're bad. I think they're just not my style. So, <laughs> Cowboy Bebop is a show that I didn't like at first that much, but I liked a lot more later on because I grew to like the characters a lot. But my favorite episode in that was like the episode where... <laughs> With the they were making a cult on the internet and 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 one of the guys was like there is no god and it's like it's it's very dramatic and I love it. <sighs> Anyways, I do like my cult episodes. That's why I like the last episode as well because it's kind of like a Gucci's cult, even though it's not really a cult. It's just a weird circle that they have, a circle of friends that they have. I like the fact that Akashi is still. Um, working under Higuchi. I also thought that Higuchi is going to leave entirely after the last episode. Apparently not. I do like him, so it's okay. I think we're done. Okay. That's it for me for now. If you want to see the next episode, I can end this question with Guardian and anyone else. You can do that really in the link below. We're going to help out. You don't have to do it again. That would mean the world to me. That would help the channel a lot. Also, leave a like and a video. Subscribe to the channel. All the fun stuff in. Bye!